Let's see if, if I can... Oh, shit, no! Oh, God. Well, guys, this sucks. Hello, guys, Bishop Butters here, bringing you yet another equivalent exchange tutorial. This one is on the Destruction Catalyst, Hyperconnectic Lens, and the Catalytic Lens, with the village in the background. Yay! As you can see here, I've got, uh, Clan Star Omega charging, so I can use it. But first, the fun part, the recipes. In order to make a Destruction Catalyst, you need four... Nova Catalysts, made by mixing a Mobius Fuel and TNT in the bottom two left slots right here. It gives you two per, so two TNT, two Mobius Fuel, equals enough Mobius Fuel to do this. Then you need the additional four Mobius Fuel in these corners, and you need a fully conditioned Flint Steel, and it gives you the Destruction Catalyst. The Destruction Catalyst mines a 3x3 three three area in front of you, and when it's uncharged, it only mines it one block deep. When it's fully charged, it mines 16 blocks deep. It uses no fuel if it no block is broken. So, press V to charge it. See, no fuel is used. However, if I open this up, take this out, now that it's fully charged, 16 blocks deep. Not quite 16, but... Well, it is 16 blocks deep, because I made this four long, four extra long, just for emphasis. And the best part about this is, it drops everything in a nice little ball on top of your head, allowing you to conveniently pick everything up with no lag. Okay. Next up, the hyperconnect lens. And as you can see, I put a little frown face here. I think it's clear that I don't really like this item. It's... Top and bottom rows with diamond. Top and left, uh, middle, uh, middle, left and right is both dark matter. And in the middle is a Nova Catalyst, and you get a hyperkinetic lens. This is basically portable TNT. If you just right click with it, as you can see, it made a little hole. Charge it, it makes a bigger hole. Keep charging it, makes a much bigger hole. I'm not sure if this explosion does damage to animals. Okay, it does. It does not have alternate modes. So, for example, I just use it on here. See, it's more destructive, but much, much, much less controlled. That's why I don't really like it. I prefer the control. And now, the best mining tool in Equivalent Exchange, by far, at least in my personal opinion, is the... is this. Janine is an eye of dark matter. Destruction catalyst. Hyperkinetic lens. It gives you the catalytic lens. Think of this as a destruction catalyst on insane amounts of crack. Two, three, four, five, six, seven... It has seven charge levels. You may or may not notice how much longer I made this particular one. And see how much further it went. As you can see, I also made this one extra f uh, five. I made this one extra five long as opposed to those two. And the, uh, both of them are, um, the... Destruction Catalyst and Hyperkinetic Lens are both used up in the making of this, so... Just gonna throw all these in here to clear my inventory space. Hmm... Okay. And now to be funny, I'll end off this episode mining a village. Yay! I love super flat worlds. Villages always spawn right next to you. As you can see, this thing causes incredible amounts of carnage. It's mainly used for underground strip mining, which I do rather often, but... I'll stop bouncing up and down. 
It's either you all die in large amounts of TNT explosions, or I just do this. I'd much rather be homeless, wouldn't you? Uh, this does not do any damage to any mobs, or NPCs, or anything like that. All this does is mine. And as you can see, they now have roofs, but no houses. But I made them a road. A nice little road. Oh, is he stuck? Is he stuck? Oh, oh god, no! Oh, boy. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys.